Hey everybody, how's it going? We're out here again with a little bit of an update video. So here's the Monarch, the backwards Monarch, uh, the anomaly if you will, um, with about 98% of the paint removed. Now I used uh, just some of the Jasco um, premium paint and epoxy remover, spray can, and uh, you know, it, it took a lot of it off. Uh, there was a white primer underneath, which was <laughs> difficult as well. Um, the red paint kind of came off easier than the white paint was harder to get off because it was sticking to uh, a, a more porous su uh, surface like the rust. Um, but it's mostly off. I have to give some more attention to the glow plate, the wire guards, and the bale, and around the corners. But, um, you know, it's almost there. It's coming along. Really, really coming along. Uh, this is going to be tough. I need to get a new wire brush because the ones I have are pretty tired and worn out. So I need a few more supplies. But, you know, uh, before the end of the week, I'm sure I'll have this thing looking a lot better. Then I'll have to get a cap, and that's it. I might try and find a proper fit-all globe. So the pre-lock knob fit-all globe would probably be more correct for this lantern than the one that it came with, which I have plenty of lanterns to use that fits all, you know, 40s, 50s globe in. But, um, yeah, uh, this thing's going to look really sharp, I think. And then I uh, just got to fix the uh, lock, the lift lock here, put that back in and solder it. And um, then it should be ready to rock and roll. Now, I, I took the globe plate off. I unhooked it from the, uh, the lift wire uh, guards, uh, guides, and, but I forgot that it's, you know, got a cold blast lift style, so it's actually hinged like a cold blast. <laughs> so I'm going to just leave it like that for now. No big deal. Uh, but then over the course of this week, I'm going to tidy up, get all the corners and stuff addressed, and get the rest of the red paint and primer off of this thing so it's completely bare. Uh, polish it. Uh, well, WD-40, a little more wire brush or uh, Brillo pad, uh, get as much rust off I can, leave some of the age, and uh, go from there. Um, I see some of the patents. The only one that's legible is 1908. One there's below that, I see an M for Maine, which is the main plant, but then there's this dent right here. So that's making it hard to read the last patent date on here. But I, I would imagine it's 13, right around 12 or 13. Um, anyhow, so that's it. Coming along. It's looking a lot better, I think. Yeah, it's going to look really cool. So, there we go. Thought I'd just do a little catch-up video for you all. And uh, stay tuned. We'll, we'll have more coming this week. Take care. Bye-bye.